Hey everybody, Kevin Machado here. Got your monthly market update as we're looking at the Edmonton market and then also the micro market of St. Albert to see how the market is moving forward. And I hope you're enjoying a beautiful summer that you're getting to experience some of this nice weather that we're having out here in Alberta. I know that we've had some, some decent temperatures. I know my friends out in Ontario, you've been having some crazy hot temperatures and hopefully everyone stays safe, have a wonderful summer and all those kids are getting all geared up to be leaving school and be all done to fill up all of their parents' time with all of their summer activities. And hopefully you just have a ton and ton and ton of fun. I don't wanna eat up a ton of your time because I know that you've gotta to get to the lake and cook some hot dogs or do whatever you need to do. But let's take a quick look at our real estate market and how things are moving forward. So we're gonna do two things. We're gonna look at Edmonton. We're gonna see how Edmonton's looking and performing. And then we're gonna look at St. Albert and see how St. Albert is performing. So what we can tell you is that we have seen the continual streak that we've seen really month over month, year over year, really for the last little bit is this influx of people. People are moving here, they're continuing to move here, and that means our sales are going up and that we are getting sales. And our prices, when the sales go up, the, the increases there, and then it also increases on our price. So when we're looking at our sales, we can see that we are up 3% month over month and we're up nearly 20%, well, 18.9% year over year. So our sales are really picking up. And then when we look with our inventory and then our current sales, so our current inventory, when this is done, we're looking back last month's stats. We've got inventory that was sitting just under 6,000 at 5,841 uh, units of inventory. And then we saw 3,220 sales. So when we take that, that, those inventory, divide that by our sales, that gives us our months of inventory. That is a strong indicator of where we are in terms of a buyer's market, which is going to be really four to six, or that's six months of inventory and above balanced market is really going to be between that three to three to six months is really going to be where we're looking at balanced really it's generally four to six but we're kind of saying now balance more three and then our sellers which is going to be zero to three to four months when we look at our market right now for the Edmonton market we're sitting at 1.8 months of inventory so that means it's going to take 1.8 months to gobble up all the inventory we have which is not a lot and that's what's putting positive pressure on pricing moving those prices up and then we can see that here when we're looking at our prices then we just get right into it with our average prices our prices again for our detached properties these are up now to five hundred and forty six thousand dollars so that is a high watermark for our pricing and that is up three percent month over month and just under a seven percent year over year at six point eight percent so again property increases are continuing to go up and we can see it across the board on really all of our property types we're looking at our semi-detached these are going to be you know our semi-detached properties half duplexes things like that those are sitting at four hundred and fourteen thousand dollars for the average price point that's a semi-detached a half duplex at four hundred and fourteen thousand dollars which again is pricing we haven't seen that's going to be up nearly 2% month over month at 1.8%. And then yearly, we're sitting at 8.4% increase. So big increase in those semi-detached. And these more affordable properties, the semi-detached, the townhomes, as we'll see here in a moment, we're starting to see those prices rise. Now, those row and townhouses, those are sitting at month over month, they're equal. We're at $295,000 for a townhouse. And that is 16% year over year. So those townhouses are seeing that strong increase. And then even our apartment style condos, those are sitting at $207,000, which is up 2.6% month over month and up nearly 7% at 6.9% year over year. So again, across the board, we're seeing those property types, those values increases, and that's putting positive pressure on sellers. And we're looking at selling a house. We really got to evaluate it week by week because our market is a little bit of a roller coaster, but it is trending up and to, as I said before, up to the right, which I believe is your left, but going that way, we're going in a positive direction. So our inventory is not high. We don't have a ton of inventory. And that means our buyers, you're really going to have to be prepared. Again, get those pre-approvals done. We've got excellent mortgage brokers that we recommend our clients to work with that are that work with clients all across Canada. We've been seeing a lot of people coming in out of province. They're looking to buy properties, maybe by the university. We've got a couple of clients like that right now looking for university properties. We've got investors that are looking for investment properties. And then we have investors that live out of province that are looking to sell their properties as well, or they live out of town and they're getting their properties listed because they can see an excellent opportunity to exit this market, to receive their capital back and then deploy it in different ways because they're done being a landlord. So there's different opportunities that are out there for you. Depends on what you're looking at and we're here to help serve you however we can. Now, I want to take us back and look specifically at St. Albert as well, because that's where I live. That's my home. But we do have our market that we're going to take a look at. And it's just St. Albert. It performs generally a little bit better 
than the city of Edmonton. We see prices a little bit higher uh, than Edmonton. These kind of um, bedroom communities, St. Albert and Sherwood Sfru- uh, Park, those see a lot of strength. And then we'll take a look quickly here at St. Albert. And our St. Albert for last month, we've got, we're sitting on our days on market and our days on market here for St. Albert is 29 days on market. So a pretty short amount of time. When you look at Edmonton, Edmonton's at about 33 days on market for their single family detached homes. So that's again, looking at last month. Last month, there's 126 sales which is up from 106 the month before and 113 the year previous. And then we were looking at our current activity. So we've got current active properties and we divide that by last month's uh, sold property. So currently active, we've got 116 detached properties that are for sale. So that's not a lot. Last month we saw 126 properties sell. So that means we've got a month, our months of inventory are sitting at 0.9. 0.9 months of inventory. So less than one month to take up all the inventory we have for single family detached homes. So a really active market and we're seeing pricing that's continuing to increase with our average price. We can see that now, and, and this gets to this, you know, smaller sample size. We have some big numbers. We had big numbers last month that pushed the average price up a bit, but our average price right now is sitting at just under six hundred and se- or five hundred and seventy thousand dollars at five hundred sixty nine thousand five hundred and fifty nine. So just right under that, uh, the year before we're up over three uh, percent. Year before it was five hundred and fifty one. Um, so we're seeing those property rates, prices increase, and then our high sale this month was one point three million in Oakmont, and then our low was. 355 in Grandin. So that's what our market is looking like in St. Albert, but we're seeing a lot of people wanting to be here and then make their move. And then same thing with Edmonton. A lot of people are wanting to make their move here because we're so affordable when you look at other places across Canada and there's lots of opportunities for work and it's just a great place in general to live. So if you need some help, some advice, if you're looking at selling a home or you just want to get a copy of one of our buyer or seller guides, happy to share all of that information with you. Just send me a message and I'd love to connect and see how we can help serve you in whatever way that you need. So thank you so much again, my friends, for watching, for taking the time to watch this goofy guy here. I give you some market stats on our Edmonton and St. Albert real estate markets. And uh, if, again, if you had any questions, let me know. But I'm just so grateful and appreciative for all of you. So thank you so much, my friends, for watching. And we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.